हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार व्हाट इज अ टर्म प्लान इफ दिस इज टुडे टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम ट्राइंग टू पुट अप बिफोर यू यू मे हैव एन इंप्रेशन दैट नाउ अनु भटिया विल ट्राई टू सेल सम इंश्योरेंस टू मी एंड आई नो दिस इज अ फिनोमिना in our country when somebody tries to sell us an insurance product we generally become scared that no no i don't need any insurance product or i have already an insurance policy believe me my dear friends i am not there here today to sell you any insurance plan i'm just here to let you know this simple plain vanilla product which is one of the best product when you think of buying an insurance policy and this data which i am now going to provide you is very important for you to understand that in a country like india within an age group of 25 to 35 where people may start earning and people may start obtaining an insurance cover the insurance penetration is just 17% means in this age group only 17% persons are insured so that shows that what is the need of an insurance policy and where we are actually standing so through today's video i am trying to put up before you that where a term plan is suggested to you how should you interpret it this what are its features what are the key points pertaining to it which you must take care about whenever you are thinking of obtaining a term plan what is the difference between a term plan and other insurance plans available and finally it should be able to tell you that you should be able to make up your mind that whether you need a term plan in your case or not so to begin with my dear friends i would first suggest you that there are three kind of insurance plans life insurance plans one is the term plan which we'll discuss in detail in today's video second is an endowment plan and third one is a ulip plan so the question comes what is an endowment plan let me give you a brief idea of the same in our country usually the insurance traditionally has been sold as an investment product whereas in a opinion of a person like me insurance is a risk cover product not an investment product but yes since the companies offer the return of capital after a certain period with some appreciation so people think of say for an example if somebody suggests to your policy that okay you keep on paying 20000 50000 a year down the line after 30 year 40 year we will return you so much so capital so that is a case of an endowment plan and what is a ulip plan ulip plan has a different feature only in terms of as compared to endowment plan that it will invest your premium after reducing the risk cover premium into a mutual fund kind of investment which can give you a higher return as compared to a traditional endowment plan but the question comes that okay what is a term plan that is the key feature of today's video which i'll describe you in details in the coming discussion now let me discuss with you the term plan in terms of its features and these features will help you to know to understand what a term plan actually is my new my dear friends term plan is a pure risk cover product now what is a risk cover product which gives you assurance in terms of covering your risk say for an example at an age of 25 year if a person is taking an insurance plan that is a term insurance plan of rupees 1 crore which is a very big amount and his premium is just 15000 rupees now you compare this case with a new car which you purchase which may be just between the range of 10 to 12 lakh rupees and you may try to find out the risk insurance cover the insurance cover of such kind of car insurance policy may be ranging between 30 35000 now a car with a value of rupees 10 to 15 lakh rupees has an annual insurance premium of 35000 a person with the age of 25 years obtaining an insurance cover up to 99 years of age that too with a annual premium may be paying 15000 rupees insurance cover so why one should not take care about such kind of insurance product which because a term plan is giving a better risk cover a higher risk cover and please mind you it is not an investment product my dear friends term plan is not an investment product yet there may be riders that they may return you the contributions which you have made in the term plan after the certain age but please don't think that in term plan you should be 
getting your capital return after certain age. It is just a risk cover product. Now, you can ask me what is a risk cover, Mr. Bhatia? Risk cover means, say for an example, Mr. A obtains a risk cover of rupees 1 crore at an age of 35 years. Unfortunately, something happens to him. He dies. Then he may be in a position that post his death, he has left 1 crore rupees net wealth to his legal now that one crore rupees may ensure that the further survival of the family goes smooth. So this is called a risk cover product that if there is a risk of death, then that is covered by way of a substantial coverage. Usually some assured is higher as compared to other plan. You can compare that endowment plan and ULIP plan. They do not give you such a huge risk cover, which is usually provided to you in a term plan. It certainly provides you the tax benefit under section 80C of the Income Tax Act 1961, which is one of its features. A term plan may have the provision for return of capital or not that I have already spoken that you may choose an option that you want your capital that is the premium which you have invested in term plan may also be returned after a certain age. But that is not required. Say if somebody lives for a period of 99 years or say 100 years, then where is the need of return of capital? Prime office I know. Fixed premium product with different payment options. You may choose the payment option of premium in terms of it may be a monthly payment, it may be a quarterly insurance premium payment or half yearly or yearly as is suitable to you. Further, very important point. The premium amount in term plans is dependent upon certain factors. What are they? Age. As I have told you that younger the age, lower will be the premiums. Higher the age, higher will be the premium. Annual income of the person who is obtaining insurance cover is very important. You may also ask me a query that, okay, Mr. Bhatia, please let me know how much insurance cover usually should be availed. Say, for example, if a person is earning 10 lakh rupees a year, so at least 10 times should be the life insurance cover available with it. It means 10 lakh multiplied by 10, 1 crore rupees term plan should be taken. Then the educational qualification of that person would also be important. And what additional riders do you obtain when you are taking a insurance cover term plan? That is also important because you can compare one policy with other policy when you are buying term plan only with the same riders. If you are opting different riders in different policies, then those policy does not remain comparable. These riders are, say for an example, in case of accidental, red, accidental death, the uh, compensation amount could be double. In case of some fatal disease, there could also be the additional compensation which may be paid in the intervening period. These kind of riders are also important and you may choose at the time of obtaining the term plan that whether these riders are required in your case or not. So these features would have helped you to let you know that okay, term plan is what? It is a basically risk cover product and it assures you that okay, once you obtain it, then you are already insured for a bigger amount. Now, one suggestion which I would like to give here, suppose if you have obtained a bigger term cover, say 1 crore, 2 crore, 50 lakh, as per your need, and then you are further availing some smaller loan amount, say a home loan or a personal loan or a car loan. Nowadays, I see that the lenders are also selling the insurance product of their loans. Say you have obtained a home loan of 20 lakh, they will say that, okay, why don't you get this home loan also insured so that if something happens to you, the home loan shall be, the remaining amount of principal shall be paid by the insurer. Now, suppose if you have an answer that I have already taken a 1 crore rupees term cover, do I need to take insurance plan at each and every stage? Probably the answer is no. So once you obtain a term plan that is a risk cover product at a younger age, it will give you a protection from small, small insurance required in the future also. So that is also a very important feature when you think of obtaining a term plan. Now a very important question comes is that, okay, Mr. Bhatia, if I am ready, how should I pick up the best insurance? That is a very big question, million dollar question, sir. I can only suggest because I am not going to tell you that, okay, you buy from here or you buy from this company, that is your call. I'm just giving you inputs here that, okay, compare the premium of term plan offered by different insurers with the same inputs. Say with your same, with your age, which is going to remain intact when you are buying the insurance plan with the uh, features which you want in the insurance product. You can compare on certain online platform that, okay, with this kind of uh, data input, what will be the insurance premium of mine? 
which will be offered by different insurers so that you can determine that okay you get the highest coverage with the lowest premium second claim settlement ratio is an important factor before you choose the policy from an insurer now what is a claim settlement ratio say for an example the claim settlement ratio means that out of the 100 plans which are offered or 100 claims which are there before an insurance company in form of they receiving claim on the death or demise of a person how much plans which the claim have been uh, lodged with them they actually pay the compensation say if a company is giving 99.5 percent claim settlement ratio and another company is giving 97 percent claim ratio so it means those who are offering 97 percent claim settlement ratio that means out of 100 claim three claims they are denying to admit and 99.5 percent means out of 200 claim in one case they are denying the claim so this will help you to decide okay which insurance company you should offer ask queries from the consultant is a very important point which i wanted to raise whenever you are obtaining an insurance cover maybe from online or offline utility whatever it is say from an lic agent or any other agent please ask him the queries what are the features of the plan how this plan would continue what are the riders in this plan what are the key conditions which are inbuilt therein this will help you to understand the product rightly which you are buying from the market some other important questions which were in my mind which i thought that i must share my views with you so that you can select a proper term plan and you can make up your mind for buying a term plan auto debit or premium should be opted or not say sometime the insurance company will suggest that okay why don't you say that first premium you are paying mr bati but subsequent premium should be by way of auto debit so that if you forget the insurance policy does not become discontinued see the term plan is a plan which would require the regular payment moment your payment would stop then in that case the possibility of the discontinuance of the plan would be higher so if you are buying a term plan which is giving you a high risk cover you should think of paying the premium on regular basis by way of opting an auto debit kind of facility that is a suggestion yet you may choose the correct one which is in your opinion whether nomination should be ensured or not again if the feature of the product is to offer a risk cover higher risk cover to the family members why not the nomination should be opted for that should certainly be opted for read insurance policy clauses which i always keep on suggesting jago grahak jago whatever policy you are taking whatever product you are taking please let know what are the policy related clauses that are very important to be read and understood what if you, if you want to discontinue with the policy or enhance the cover further? These are two very essential and important features. Sir. Suppose if somebody wants to discontinue, you can stop the payment of the policy premium and the insurance policy would get discontinued. It should not happen unless you think that, no, I've already obtained a big cover or so. Further, a question may also come that, okay, after a certain time, you can enhance your cover. Say you have initially taken a coverage of 1 crore later you want that my coverage should be of 1.5 crore then yes the insurance cover can be enhanced however when you are enhancing insurance cover then whosoever is providing you further insurance cover in terms of enhancement you should declare to him or it that yes i already have an insurance plan earlier that is a very important feature there is one another feature which is very important for you to note say for an example you obtain an insurance cover of 1 crore but you want that your insurance cover should annually enhance by 1%, 2%, 5% that can also be done by you while you are opting for insurance plan at the time of mining. You may also opt for withdrawal of premium or policy within free look period. See that is a very important period in uh, clause. In India we are usually not aware about this fact that if somebody has missold you a product and Due to that mis-selling some insurance policy has now been there to you, issued to you. Then initially within a 15 to 30 days period of the issue of the policy, you get a free look period. Within that free look period also, you can say that I don't want this policy. So suppose if some mis-selling has happened in your case, you may look into this free look period and decide that no, I don't want this product so that no mis-selling happens to your case. 
have you disclosed all existing ailments that is a very important condition my dear friend sometimes it is seen that people don't disclose any ailment which is existing on the date of obtaining an insurance cover maybe blood pressure maybe sugar maybe smoking habits then these kind of things create future problem so you should give the details of all existing ailments to the insurance company so that if a case arises for claiming the compensation then the person who is claiming it should not be deprived of from the benefit of insurance cover to end my dear friends i wish that none of us should be in a position that our uh, legal hire should have to claim the compensation that is my best wish but future is always uncertain and if you obtain a big insurance cover life insurance cover under the term plan you will be least worried about obtaining or taking cover of insurance policies and you can focus on other investment product so i think that this video would have helped you to understand the term plan better and would help you to decide your term plan investment idea so at the end thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best stay insured jai